I'm Sakai from Kyoto University. So from me, we'll be, I will be talking about the current situation of MOOC and Spark at Kyoto University, the current status, and also the prospect, prospect for the future. In the past, we have been doing these things for MOOC. For example, 2012, this is the first year for MOOC in our university, and we decided to have the Coursera or edX, and then edX approached us on the, and the MOOC. We joined edX in 2013, and it took one year, and the, we had this OCW team which developed the course content. And in 2014, finally, we launched the first MOOC. And the following year, 2015 April, our center, CPEHE, started to develop and operate or implement the MOOC. And after 2015, and we had award, been awarded we have been awarded for the four-year project by MEXT, in which it promote MOOC. And we are year three right now under this project with MEXT. But this is going to be now escalated to the infrastructure type or fundamental uh, grant. So that means that we are going to have the continued budget uh, by the government. That's the current situation. And the, as Kyoto University as well, Kyoto University uh, has been working on the MOOC and the OCW, uh, which is also included on the university's midterm goals and the plans and the president's future vision. So uh, the university itself, not only the center, but also the university has been working on the promotion of MOOC. This is uh, what we have been working on. So these are the projects, OCW, and MOOC, LSW, and the system and the learning services. They, are, they used to be separate before, but now and the, we have uh, most the MOST project, which is the visualization of the teaching practices and the learning practice. And the, it, it used to be independent or separate, but the, if you take a look at the lower chart, you have this uh, the triangle, uh, green triangle in the middle. So it's now organically integrated for our comprehensive program. In Kyoto University, we have 12 courses that are open to students, and the number of learners is 150,000 as of January this year. And there are several features in MOOC. The very first MOOC is by Professor Uesugi. The title of the MOOC is The Chemistry of Life. And this is a 15-week full course. And I think the biggest feature of this is shown on the right hand, uh, the left-hand side in the picture. So you have the classroom lecture and the, we have the flipped classroom. So the, as a material of the, uh, for the flipped classroom, the MOOC was used for this first MOOC. And there was, um, for example, the invitation of the top performing students and also surprise visit. So the, there is, was no appointment with the learner, but we had a kind of surprise visit um, to their learner who wasn't notified about the visit. So this is, again, the um, so after the Professor Yam, uh, Uesugi, and we have the present Yamagewa launched MOOC course, which is uh, actually unique. And this class, there's whole MOOC, for example. And uh, for example, the one bit of home assignment is that the, uh, the features or the characteristics that is unique to human being and not available with animal. And the, this uh, the full assignment is embedded in the six-week course. And the four top performing uh, the students uh, were invited to, to the in, uh, online 
presentation, and they, we invited uh, the, them to Kyoto University for two weeks. And for these four courses, that in the red box, actually, uh, we have a collaboration with the uh, top global, global university project. For example, we have the university program, a joint or double degree program with four universities. And for this project, we have four uh, pillars or four areas of study, social science and humanities, human biosciences, chemistry and chemical engineering, and mathematics. And four to six week per one, and the area, uh, we have uh, MOOC courses uh, to obtain foreign students. So out of 12 MOOC courses, eight, uh, eight courses are actually under the Global University Project by MEXT. So two-thirds of their courses are in collaboration with the courses that is done by the university. So this is year three, and the, uh, the blue one is a self-paced course. So the course is open for a certain period of time, and the learner can decide when they are going to take this course. And the, usually, the, uh, the most of the processes launch the second or third course after the time. And this year, which is a really tough for us, because if you take a look at uh, this MOOC and and we have uh, so many MOOC courses, relaunched MOOCs, for example, and there are new ones as well. So we have lots of them now. So as to the MOOC program for Kyoto University, there has been already some impact. So I would like to introduce some of the effect by the MOOC. For example, international student rec recruitment. The Professor Uesugi is uh, at the course, we talked about the, uh, the surprise visit to the learner, and actually uh, she decided to come to Kyoto University on campus. Um, so in order to get the foreign student, international student, MOOC is useful as, useful as well. And integration into on-campus education. So Professor Uasugi's course was designed as a flipped classroom using MOOC. But in addition to that type of class, the the lecture, uh, uh, the portion of the course uh, can be uh, can integrate uh, with MOOC. So the, this week you need to take a look at the MOOC for the lecture and then they come to the class. So the part of the partial usage of the MOOC is already available, and. There are so, uh, many professors who have never tried online um, the course, so the, of course this will help them to improve their uh, course. And also the TA, uh, the graduate students, and often the time those students will become the future teachers of the Kyoto University, and the, this is also giving uh, the MOOC is also giving them uh, opportunity to uh, to learn teaching and uh, get experience in teaching. So we have already twelve uh, courses available, and and there has been experiences accumulated, know how accumulated in our staff members, faculty members. And lastly, uh, I'd like to talk about the, uh, the online, uh, I think, uh, environment uh, for on, uh, the internal MOOC has been already ready. So I think uh, you know already SPOC, S-P-A-C. This is similar to MOOC. So the environment similar to the MOOC is implemented internally in the university to provide online courses. So that's called SPOC. And you have Koala in a, our university. MLS is called Panda. Um, and uh, this system is called uh, the Gorilla. This uh, dissemination, material dissemination system is called Gorilla. And so we have Koala now uh, underway right now. And the open edX system has been chosen for implementation into the university. And after the system implementation, 
we will have the collaboration with the uh, the professor with professors. And actually, uh, the, the November we had already started this international politics economy. And the this is uh, this has was open to the students who uh, chosen the history of economy. And so they, this part of the student was able to get this course. And the, another plan is about the medical statistics. This is not for the the student group, specific student group, but this will be open for the entire university. So. We have yet to uh, open it, but it, this is going to be open very, very soon. It will be the second one. And the last slide is this. This is about the pros prospect and the challenges. We do have, of course, the challenges uh, to tackle in the future. First, online education itself needs to be more penetrated in a university Therefore, Spark experiences and MOOCs experiences need to be shared uh, among the faculty so that they will get familiar with these new types of education. And for MOOC and the Spark, and we uh, have them open as the course, but uh, the uh, the group of courses, group of lectures, uh, can be delivered at one. So it is, I think uh, it's called a Michael Masters. edX has a Michael Masters program in which graduate school first year uh, credit uh, uh, the credit can be kind of con uh, transferred or the re read as the, the credit for the micro, uh, for the real courses. So this credit transfer is another thing that we'd like to tackle. So in addition, in addition to MOOC itself, but also the system, uh, for example, transfer of the credit system, uh, credit, uh, that kind of system also needs to be worked on. And the, the second bullet point is the development of quality online courses. We need to enhance and keep the quality. This can be set for any online courses. We have real courses, uh, I mean the physical courses. And we, if you uh, want to uh, transfer the credit from the online to the real uh, uh, credit, uh, then of course the quality of the online courses is important. And not only the online, but also the face-to-face -face, uh, classroom uh, the course, how we can embed the online portal into the face-to-face, -face. so the synchronization or collaboration with uh, uh, the classroom is very much important as well. And the last bullet point is related to the, our project, pers uh, the objective, so it is a cooperation or collaboration and cooperation with other tools. Interoperability among the tools need, is needed to connect the systems. And which platform should be uh, imp uh, used at which occasion. So uh, this needs to be also uh, studied and developed. I think that is all from me.